Holy nuts, what's up, peeps? Hope we're all doing well. In case you did not catch Rocket League Worlds this past weekend, breaking 400,000 total viewers and certainly a number one esport, a tier one esport by a lot of eyes out there. Well, it does continue to be so freaking fun to watch. Also does continue, though, the struggles in NA as well. We actually had players themselves even talking about the upcoming talent in this space. Maybe there's not enough of it when it comes to North America. What do you think has to happen in North America for for that to happen and for teams to start progressing again? I think motherfuckers need to be playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, no, I mean, this debate goes around all the time. We talked about this as a team. The, the, the fans and viewership, they, they always say, you know, oh, this team's doing better, this team's looking worse. But once it gets to the line, it's, it always sort of balances out. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's shown that, that right now, you know, G2 are coming in hot. FaZe obviously aren't having the best, best moments, but there's, there still is, and obviously complexity. Um, going up against Carmine next, you know, they, they very well could take that game. And if you somehow didn't see it, the, the hate for FaZe Clan uh, kept on going, especially after the, the Diz stuff, and of course, FaZe Clan dropping Diz, all of that drama between a deleted YouTube video, and then of course, all eyes on their performance here on land. It seemed like, at least from what I was seeing, okay, it was like everyone against FaZe Clan. Despite this not really being a part of the players, you, you feel bad when social media takes a turn this being more about the organization how they how they went about these roster changes but it seemed like phase clan was the, the obvious villain from the very start oh, you, man. come on baby <laughs> oh my god <laughs> we smoking on that face pack tonight boys <laughs> Oh no. Oh, oh brother. It's so funny, bro. It is so bliss. Holy shit, bro. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Oh, man. Life is sweet. And then I got to say, man, the Blue Wall and Carmine Corp it is actually insane. The things that I have seen them do uh, now, of course, especially in Rocket League, but across several esports, the Blue Wall is no joke. There are not many esports fans and scenes like this especially remember this was in america okay not even home base for kc and then when it comes to predictions i was a team bds guy pretty much from the from the get-go especially once playoffs begun though i was actually at rocket league worlds last year and bds uh was performing you know pretty freaking well it seems every time i watch bds comes away with it so once playoffs came around i was thinking it, it was gonna be theirs and i wasn't thinking that maybe there would be a, a little bit of an upset and maybe a bit more of an exciting name that's just me okay okay i know there's a lot of bds fans out there but i i would love to see a different team take a world's and that's exactly what we got as it was a banger of a lot of teams especially who made playoffs I was kind of hoping for a moist run myself, was hoping for Space Station to go a bit further. When it comes down to Vitality, though, and a complete sweep in the Grand Finals, it, it seems a bit of a dud, but when it comes for a French fan base who took a CSGO major not too long ago, this is pretty freaking exciting to see Vitality taking down BDS. The backboard tries to get the flip reduced and just fakes it out, leaves it for the man, the magician, the superstar, it's the signature shot! And when you have a young kid, 16 years old, leading the way, and by a lot of eyes, one of, if not the best players in the world, who went from an own goal to then sweeping the grand finals and having some of the best shots in the entire tourney, uh, the, the mental that a 16-year-old has to have in, in front of thousands and thousands of fans, uh, it's insane. Maybe no, huge clear from Carmen Court. They're in the trenches right now. Whoa! But it was extremely cool to see all of the watch parties, all of the tweets, all of the press going out there. I wish we could have been there this year, but unfortunately, you know, uh, look at my set, guys. There's not a lot of money going around, especially to pay for flights and travel. But it was really fun to see 
Rocket League really becoming the tier one esport. It's been for quite some time, but the viewership and the eyes on it, it just it's really backing it up in these great, beautiful moments as well. What did you guys think? What team did you have? What team was upset for you? What team did you predict to win it all? And I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more news out there about Rocket League and what they got coming next. Till next time, though, take care of yourselves, all right? See you back here sometime soon.